What, what times do you guys have? Oh, what, what times do you have? Can I do the one at maybe 1.30? Or actually 2C? Oh, 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 actually 1C, 1C. <laughs> Oh, passport, okay. One thirty tomorrow, right? Okay, thank you. All right, thanks so much. Bye. All right, uh, Amo? Yes. in Chiang Rai and this morning I got my bus ticket to Chiang Rai. I realized that it's better to get my bus ticket the day before because I think the buses fill up pretty quickly here. So I just went over and got it real fast this morning. And then I got a grab bike, which is pretty, I guess, common to use here. They're like only 61 baht to get to this temple. So today this video will be about going to different temples here in Chiang Rai because that's why I'm here in the city. I think they're famous for their temples and as you saw, there's like a huge Buddha in the back right here. It's kind of shot out because I have to, I guess, focus on my face right now to talk. But we're going to be visiting like four different temples here. It's really hot. So if you see me sweating, like, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> I'm going to show you like the four or three biggest temples here or four biggest temples here. And then, yeah, that'll be about it. So it's going to be hot. So I'm going to try to make it kind of short to show you all around. But let's go to this first temple. The name is Wat Wai. La Kong. Um, I to drop the name here because I think I'm butchering the pronunciation, but it's basically known for the big Buddha statue. So let's go into the entrance. I got like a pink milk. So I'm gonna drink that and then head in. So let's go. This is the temple here. No, I'm just kidding. Now the temple's over here. couldn't go into that temple because they're having like a, a ceremony right now. Yeah, they told me I couldn't go and they look pretty serious about it. I think they're kind of sick of tourists coming. I don't know. They seem kind of angry when I was asking them. Couldn't even just go in, so I don't think I can go into many other places. People are praying. I'm just going to show you all around the exterior and this area because I think it's such a beautiful place. Look at that detail. I'm sweating so much right now, it's so hot. But I can't be complaining because the weather is nice today. Like it could have been raining the one day I'm here in Chiang Rai. I'm behind the Buddha and even behind it's like beautiful scenery. It's just all, I think, farmland. I don't know, my take on this place is it's really beautiful. Buddha is super big, like everything is, it feels like I'm in like a mini person living in like a big world. Everything seems so out of scale. But it's nice here. Not a lot of people are here, which is nice, but I think just the detail of the entire building, given how big it is, it's just amazing. People come here, it looks like from all parts of the world, so crazy. I won't be able to fly my drone though. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared just because of what happened in Korea. Like I don't want to get in trouble again. Yeah, there's a lot of CCTV signs and also the police is here, so I don't want to talk to the police again. They're in pretty close proximity, so if I do fly and they catch me, yeah, it's done. So <laughs> I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna stay here for a little bit longer and then head back uh, to town because this temple is actually on the outskirts of the town. I'm starting outermost temple and make my way in so I need to go to another temple before they'll close 
So I'm gonna head to either the Black or Blue Temple, so let's go. Alright, so I made it to the temple. I've never seen a bluer temple in my life. It's so crazy. Look. Okay, well, you can't actually see the blue. I'm gonna go closer, but like, like, look, it's so blue. That's so crazy now. Look at the detail. All right, so that's how blue it is. I'm gonna try to show it on camera. So here's the blue temple here in Chiang Mai. So apparently like this is the back here. I was just walking around and I ran into this girl that told me that the back of the blue temple or the front, whatever you want to call it, where the one side of the entrance like represents like suffering. Like as you can see here, there's all these skulls and even the back side, the person at the very top, he like looks kind of demonic. And there's like all this representation of death and suffering in the back here. And then as you make your way forward into the temple and to the outskirts and then you go to the very front, it's like a very peaceful, it's as if it represents some sort of light and vitality. I don't know, I'm not an expert on the Blue Temple. Someone has been to the Blue Temple, let me know. But it's just an interesting juxtaposition of the two. I'm done with my tour of the Blue Temple. Hopefully you all like the shots that I got. It's like around two o'clock because I ended up talking to somebody for a long time. So I'm gonna actually head to the White Temple, which is kind of far from here. So I don't know, we'll see. And then go to the, maybe the Black Temple if I have time. So let's go before it closes. I started pouring. I need to get onto my grab and start pouring. I have to cancel my grab, but I have to pay him. Like, but it's raining so bad right now. Oh my god. I lied. I'm not actually going to the Black Temple, I realized. It's way too far out of my range. So I'm actually at a smaller temple. It's known as the Golden Temple. And as you can see from my hair, it's raining out here. So. Yeah, after the, as you heard earlier, like pretty much after, I, as soon as I left the Blue Temple, you could kind of see it in the sky from some of the clips at the end there. It was getting cloudy and ended up just pouring rain. It's still kind of raining right now. So that's like a good and bad thing because the good thing is that people aren't here, but the bad thing is that it's raining and my camera can't take too much water because the Fujifilm XS10, which is the camera I have, isn't exactly water resistant or waterproof. So I have to be kind of careful. So. I'm gonna take some clips of this place, but if you look over here, it says like, I have to take off my shoes for like this right here. Now I can't take off my shoes because my socks will just get wet and so I'm just not gonna go up there. So I'm just gonna take some stills of this area so that you can get a sense of what the temples are like here. This is a smaller temple, it's less known, so that's why they're probably, that's probably why there are not that many people here right now. I want to go to like a smaller, less known temple and from Google, it looked nice, so maybe I'll be able to capture some of the beauty here. So, right here is, what's the name? Again, I'm really bad at pronouncing names, but Wat Phra That Doi Chom Thong. Anyway, the name's right here, so here's that temple now.
but still trying to walk around. I think I'm pretty much done. It's a small pagoda or a temple. I don't know which one it is. I think more so a temple. But it's a small temple here, but it's just kind of tough going anywhere because it's rainy and all these places require you to take off your shoes, so I can't really go in. This is the temple, but I can't go inside because I don't want to take off my shoes. Yeah, but all these temples have like dragons and stuff on the outside. I don't know if it's a symbol of protection and lions. I've seen more of the dragons than any other animal or other than the elephants which are over there that I showed earlier. Too bad I can't talk to anyone about this place. Everyone I tried talking to can't speak English so I'm on my own kind of interpreting everything. This is the gold temple and it looks like tomorrow I'll be able to go to the white temple but I have to wake up pretty early so stay tuned for the white temple. Uh, that's gonna be tomorrow so I'm just gonna switch to the white temple now. Thank you. All right, so we're here at the White Temple. So, here it is. Like taking out all the joy of just looking at it. Everyone's taking photos, which I understand, but it's so busy and people are like cutting everybody, it's really annoying. But you yeah, know, this is like one of the biggest places here in Chiang Rai, so I don't expect anything less. But I can't take photos inside, so I'm just gonna take a video of the outside, as you can probably hear. It's like a very, there's like so much detail in the design of everything here. So like if you look right here, like it looks like um how do I put it like a like a drawing that they just put into sculpture, which is kind of crazy. So I'm just gonna show you all more of this area because they have fish and koi, which is like my favorite fish. Just like the whole architecture, all the detail, detailing on the exterior, it's just super crazy. And I'll just show you all what it looks like. So here you go. going through the whole temple and I'm on the outside of it. I guess my impressions are that it felt like an amusement park. If I can compare it to anything, you feel like you're just walking through the exhibit and taking pictures and photos. The kids around, like kind of walking around, running around. I don't know, personally, I probably won't come back. It didn't feel like a temple to me. It felt more like something that you come to see and take pictures of instead of a place of worship and prayer, so. Unlike the other three temples I visited earlier, so I don't know, that's just my take on the White Temple. Maybe this might be a little controversial, but it is what it is. That's how I feel about the Four Temple. Hopefully you got a sense of like what the temples look like, and maybe you want to come see the temples here in Chiang Rai. So thank you all for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye. If you stay till the end, you're a real one, so... I risked it all for you all because I got some drone shots. So I am at this cafe here in Chiang Rai. It's like kind of outside of the big Buddha statue. I was able to get some pretty cool shots. So for those who have been waiting and who've been following along and stayed through the whole video, here's some drone shots. <laughs>